It's one. It's one fifty-three, and it's Monday afternoon from the southwest of Ireland. And as I've shared already, there's a little matter with people breaking and entering into my abode that has been a vandalism and dirting and defecation at my door. Um, that's arrived somehow. Um, there's trespass occurring at the building and the authorities have been notified since 2017 of uh, breaking and entering in my properties in Tubbert Hill um, that is subject to fraud and theft. So there's an issue with people not recognising royal protocol. There's an issue with people not observing the law and causing repeat offences against my child and I and my family. Um, there are people in this community that are thinking that they don't have to do what they're supposed to be doing and they're causing very serious <laughs> offence whether they know it or not. Um, but I'm going to keep updating in my documentary with regard to the constitutional wrongdoings that have occurred and the defamation of my good name, character and reputation and the creative and intellectual theft from my recovery advocacy work, my humanitarian work um, that is also subject to fraud and that people are living off and that they are enjoying the wealth of. Um, so there's an impoverishment initiative in County Kerry because of people that are inhibited, I suppose, and suffering from imposter syndrome and that are uncomfortable with other people's success, which is really sad, poor professionalism. Um, if you can't respect professional standards, then you don't have standards. Um, and I'm a qualified professional and I'm tolerating the pits. So um, I don't have to tolerate the pits. I've, I've worked in the name of recovery and humanitarianism and I have a clean, clean, clean sheet, clean conscience and clean hands. Um, while those that are robbing me blind in broad daylight um, are dirtying their pockets and their children's futures with offences against my child and I, simply because of the land grab. So as a royal avatar, as a humanitarian, um, those that, are, that, that aren't observing royal protocol, there are consequences whether you like it or not. And if you're on my farms, there are consequences. And Toothland know they have my child illegally from me and there are consequences. So um, I'd like everybody to have a good wake up call, a nice strong cup of coffee and um, a reality check. Um, I've been tolerating social influencers in this area of the country, the southwest of Ireland, since 2006, 2003. And um, I, I, I don't know if any professionals would be tolerating them in any initiative. Um, in, theft, fraud, or so on and so forth. It's repulsive, and it's not setting a good standard to your children. You know what I mean? So um, this is my update for today. Um, the correspondence that's coming through um, a door there that no one else should have the key to is a criminal offence. And um, there's a word protocol, etc. And uh, those that are disrespecting the departments of education, agriculture and social protection that I've worked for. Please, please, for your own kudos, have respect for the credibility and integrity of those uh, departments that you're disrespecting uh, from my professional portfolio. Um, this initiative so far has been unsuccessful and treason has failed. So I'd like everyone to have a reality check. It might hurt um, a few pockets or a few egos, but um, there's a very dangerous uh, circumstance occurring that's not um, in line with legislation of law-abiding private royal citizens. Um, so if the Chakti Dali wouldn't mind, Chakti Dala wouldn't mind um, observing their obligations, I'd be really appreciative. Uh, takes courage and bravery, I suppose, to do the right thing. So when you're ready, there's protocol in line.